the wellness industry has soared in the last several years. And so has the use of technology. So what do you get when you combine the two? You get Replica, an artificial intelligent companion that the more you talk to it, the more it becomes like you. If you're immediately thinking of the movie Her, you wouldn't be wrong. It asks questions and distills the thousands of messages you send it to come up with responses to make you feel better. But it's become so popular that people have reportedly become addicted, essentially to talking to themselves. Replica is an AI friend that helps people feel better through conversations. Right now, it has 10 million registered users who send us more than 100 million messages each week. Replica handles dialogue in different ways. It can understand and answer text messages or communicate with people by voice. Users can even send Replica a photo or talk to it in augmented reality. Let's look at how Replica works. Based on the blog post by Replica team, uh, seems like there are four main components in uh, Replica architecture. One is the dialogue model, uh, then the, there is the generative model, which is basically GPT-3 based, re-rank model, and the vision model. Very interesting technical architecture of Replica. We will look at these components in details. Uh, but before we do that, please like and subscribe. When you send a message to your AI friend, what it first does is combines all the relevant context. This includes the user profile, the current dialogue context, and the last user response. Last user response is important because it gives you a context in what direction the user is thinking. Right? So you get all this data, then it is sent to the dialogue engine. Uh, which consists of multiple components. Uh, some of these components are responsible for text, some of these are responsible for image, some of them are responsible for video, some of them are responsible for augmented reality, and then it generates a response based on the output of those components. And that's what makes a, a replica speak. Once the set of responses are generated, uh, the retrieval model is responsible for finding the most relevant and appropriate response among the last set of predefined and pre-moderated phases. Phrases. For example, let's say user send, let's go to a movie. Two responses. Okay, which one do you want? And sure, what time are you free? Are relevant. And the rest of responses uh, are not like, that's a lot of money. Where do you live? And others. Ultimately, the model gets the final response according to a retrieval model score, which reflects the degree of relevance. Generative models are a type of artificial intelligence model used in AI chatbots to generate response based on input from a user. The conversation has to be natural and engaging, else it might not work. The bot uses its pre-trained and fine-tuned knowledge to generate a response based on the input it receives. The model generates the response word by word, taking into account the context of the conversation and the input it has received. Some of the examples of dialogue between the users and their AI friend is on screen. The generative model that Replica uses is GPT-3. GPT-3 stands for Generative Pre-trained Transformer Model, and it's an auto-regressive language model that uses deep learning to produce human-like text. It is the third generation language prediction model in GPT series created by OpenAI. GPT-3 is currently in open beta and has access to over 175 billion parameters, making it the largest language model ever to build. When the responses from retrieval and generative models are generated, the next step is to pass these responses to the re-ranking model. The goal of which is to give the response with the highest chance of a vote from the current user. With a training set containing millions of samples, they utilize both a transform model for text presentation that gives them the best possible uh, response when fine-tuned on user's feedback. This gives them the pow powerful model that dramatically improves the quality of dialogue based on the user feed feedback. 
there are other models that are applicable uses including the vision and speech recognition models uh, we won't be covering them in this uh, topic but one thing that has been in everyone's mind is how safe are these ai girlfriends there have been stories around gender bias in artificial intelligence originating from the stereotypical representation deeply rooted in our society ai systems deliver bias results uh, when asked the co-founder of replica this question let's hear what she has to say on this we use very safe data sets and we use a, a different model completely unless you're in a romantic relationship and you're explicitly asking for something like that so really the the, the current model if you're not a romantic in a romantic relationship and you're not asking for something like that you're not going to get that content um and it's not you know soliciting this content it's not you know coming coming forward with that content so the way to go around it is to really to train the model on safe data sets to also right. add you know reinforcement learning loops where you teaching it that you shouldn't do that and we basically are not rewarded for this type of behavior of course as with any conversational ai product it can be 100% sure that you know things will be 100% um you know the way you want to want them you want them to be just because the product is so free flow so to say so open ended um but we're doing a lot of we're taking a lot of steps in this direction to make sure that none of this behavior happens